dating anybody is just like you're dating a whole package. Their cultural background, their the the way how they're raised and, and all that. So so there's a lot to learn from each person. So what about you? I feel different in, in many ways and that doesn't just lead to um, like a different choice of spouse, it also leads to a different choice of career. I, I always felt that I might be a little bit more intimidated of people from my culture. Like Dominican women, I thought they're very like, you know, loud in your face, strong, which I, I, I admire those, those qualities, but for me I always felt like it might be a little bit too much for me to handle. Uh, and I find, you know, with Kitty, it kind of meshes well with, with, you know, what I'm looking for in a partner. She's very accepting, but you know, my own mom, she, when I first told her that I was with a Hispanic person, she was, she immediately said, you know, he's not gonna be able to take care of you. He doesn't have, he doesn't have a job. They're all lazy. You know, obviously spouting all this really negative stereotypes and these very negative um, like characteristics that like, you know, people make fun of like Hispanic people, are, you know, which is very really true. Um, and then uh, when my mom finally met him, she was like, she was like, oh, he's white. And it was like, you know, it was like this weird little thing where she was like accepting because he was white, but not accepting of the fact that he's Hispanic. So, like now my mom has gotten a lot more accepting of it, I would say. Um, I still think like she does have her very narrow-minded view on it, but it kind of it kind of is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Okay. <laughs> now it's been almost a year and a half of not of long distance. Yeah, I don't feel like race is adding in a um, an extra level of difficulty unless the parents are involved. <laughs> that is the only step in which uh, it becomes difficult. My parents love it. I'm dating a white girl, I can get my green card if I marry her, I'll have little mixed race kids with beautiful hair, whatever, they're happy. Um, but when I went and met um, Becca's parents for the first time, uh, I remember her telling me that she had to warn her mom that I'm black because her grandparents um, on her dad's side, I think, she suspected that they are kind of racist. So, um, uh, I can't remember what they said before that, but whatever, that does, that's not important. But when I did go and meet them like during some Thanksgiving dinner, uh, both the grandfather and grandmother walked up to me and talked to me for, what, five minutes. And then after they were done, they left and said, or the, the grandfather left and as he was walking away, he said, Oh, he's actually a good boy. And then from then on, I have never talked to him. I have, I have not heard it. I have never heard him say another word to anyone else. And and after he talked to me, Becca came up to me and said, Oh, that's so weird. He never talks to anyone. I don't know why he came up to you. Probably because I was <laughs> I'm black. But yeah, so yeah, that's the only difficulty. But now they love me, since they know me now, right? There's nothing, there's nothing they can hate about me, so it's whatever. Texted me? Oh yeah, she has. 
49 minutes ago. Damn, you in trouble. Uh, I am in trouble. Oh shit. Um.